All right, so I just took the uh, antenna off the rotor. I put the controller back in the house. And uh, we're going to start taking apart these traps and uh, making sure they're all connected right. Even though everything is set up completely perfect, I'm going to go ahead and do the extra step and take these apart. So I'm going to go ahead and do this element two first. Um, I noticed it was damaged already uh, when, it, when it came. Uh, I went ahead and measured element one, element two, and element three overall. And uh, anywhere I could, I um, just marked everything with the Sharpie uh, just to help me put it back together quicker. So here we go. We're gonna, I've never taken one of these apart. So from what I understand, these are just uh, to keep birds and insects out. It really doesn't do anything other than that. Uh, so if you damage it, you can order more of these uh, if you need to. But here we go. So here it is. Um, I was actually surprised uh, how easy these were just to pull off. And uh, this one is connected uh, really well. But we'll go ahead and finish taking it out and inspect it. Uh, they're both sides off. They're both uh, have a solid connection. So we'll keep going. So I'm glad I checked. Uh, this one is broke. So if I would have got it in the air, uh, it wouldn't have matched. This is broke right here. So there you go. It was broke. So, uh, Radio Man 480, you were correct in telling me to check these. Uh, this one is broke, and if I would have gotten air, it would not have worked. So now i got to check all of them. So this is how it came out. Uh, that piece is connected to this coil. It's connected to this rivet. And there was nothing in between these two. Uh, they were just touching. And this one just has one. And this is the end that was broke off of the bolt. So I don't know if there's something supposed to be here touching or what, but this is exactly how it came out. Uh, if there's supposed to be a spacer here, uh, a lot of people are saying that there's supposed to be a spacer here. Uh, these were touching. These were two separate pieces when it came out. Uh, this was the end that was broken um, when it came off the bolt. Uh, so they're going to have to uh, send me another one. Uh, this one looks okay. Seems like it's connected well. Uh, but there's nothing here. And there was nothing between these two. They were just connected. Pushing against each other. I don't know if that's right or not. Maybe you guys can help me. But that's what I found the first one. So we'll go to the next one. So here's the second one for element two. Uh, this one seemed to be okay. Uh, had good connection here, had a good connection here, nothing was broke, uh, but there was nothing in the middle. I don't know if there's supposed to be a space or not. These are just touching each other in the middle. Uh, they're all connected to rivets. This is good. There's nothing here. So this one looks identical to the first one other than the first one was broke right here. And uh, there's no spacer. If there is supposed to be a spacer, I don't know. So I'll just catalog it and I'll contact the manufacturer or maybe you guys know. Well, here is, uh, I'm calling them East and West. So here's the West MT3. Uh, it looked to be in good condition. Uh, nothing really major on this one. Uh, I did notice that uh, it's good to mark how you're getting it out. And I marked it in comparison to the arrow on the trap itself. And uh, just so you don't get them confused. And the washers, the, the screws with washers go on the bottom. The ones without washers go on the top and connect here. Just uh, in case you're wondering. But this one didn't have a spacer either. Maybe they don't require spacers. Uh, but this is MT3 trap. So I wanted to show how I'm taking these boots off. And you, you really just got to be aggressive with them. And just work them down. And they, they eventually just... 
slide right off. You can reuse them. You don't have to cut them or nothing. And then you can inspect them. You grab it, turn it. There's no there's no play in this, so it's really tight. Uh, the wire looks okay. And we'll do the other side. So I'll grab them. Pull down on them. They come right off. They slide right off. Grab the end. Solid. Wire looks good on this one. And then we just take this bottom screw out and this screw out. And then on this side, same thing. And they slide out. Every one I've done so far, there is no, uh, some people say there's going to be a space, a spacer, a plastic spacer in this middle. Uh, none of mine have it, so maybe they're, they're not supposed to be. But uh, let me mark this guy up and then uh, take it out. So this is the only problem I found uh, on this MT2 trap. Uh, this line was broke. Uh, this is the other one. This one's okay. Uh, I just went labeled on east and west. Uh, so it's a little discerning because I wanted to put this antenna up this weekend, but now I have to wait for them to send me this part. I hope that helped. Thanks.